Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Airline Sim Part 1. Last time I introduced the game to those of you who haven't tried it and I set up some ground rules for uh, what's gonna happen next. Namely, I ask you guys to vote for which country we will uh, use as our hub country. Now, this has uh, progressed quite well in a few days, which I'm quite thankful for. Just look at all these comments, which is awesome. However, the country that won, or the comment that got the most likes, was uh, the comment from Villa Master, who said Madagascar or Mozambique. Now, the second comment says Madagascar as well, so that should be the country I play in. However, I already tried Madagascar, uh, I don't know, a year ago or something. So I decided that Mozambique might be a better choice. Now, before uh, I start to tell you more, I want to say one thing that's gonna make this LP much more interesting. There will be no restarts if we fail. There will be no coming backs and uh, resettings and everything. We have one shot and one shot only at this, and only once can we uh, start. So with that said, uh, let's move on. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with Mozambique, it's a country in the southeastern Africa, uh, not far away from Madagascar, uh, with borders uh, with South Africa and a couple of other countries. Uh, the thing about Mozambique is that this is going to be an extremely hard country to play in for several reasons. A, we have almost no... Uh, possibility for a huge connecting traffic with only one exception and that is uh, the feed from Europe to South Africa Europe and Asia however that's gonna take a long long time before we get there uh, second thing Mozambique has uh, the capital of Maputo which is as you can see located in the very southern part of the country so that complicates uh, the situation even more as you can guess a uh, central part is much better for a, for an airport uh, in the real world there aren't that many uh, airlines flying to Maputo as it is uh, there are some domestic and international uh, flights operated by LAM Mozambique Airlines, which is uh, the national airline of Mozambique. Uh, interestingly, interesting for us is Dar es Salaam and uh, maybe Luanda later on. We could try these destinations as well as Nairobi. Uh, na the other thing that's really important when looking at the map of Mozambique is that it is a former Portuguese colony, so we can make a lot by flying to Portugal. However, that's a very risky move in the beginning unless we set up some profitable routes, uh, profitable routes, uh, for the very reason that Mozambique is so far away from Portugal that we would need a brand new airplane to fly this. And in case we fail, this was, would cost us an insane amount of money. So, for now, we will stick uh, to the simple things. What's the simple thing? I already started uh, yesterday uh, a company called Moss Air, which is our airline located in Mozambique with the headquarters in Maputo. Now, when we look at uh, the country screen of uh, Mozambique, you can see that there's quite a few airports located around the country. However, even and only Maputo is the one that we could consider a good one. Not to mention that most of the airports are extremely horrible. I looked at this yesterday and I was thinking about it, trying to put together a strategy that we could use. And as this is a one-shot uh, thing, I decided to take it really slow and really carefully. This is uh, the trail fall that I was um, following. We will start by servicing these uh, five bigger airports, or bigger, these are village airports, really like small dirt tracks. 
uh, in my mind, but they will yield us some money as this is domestic uh, traffic. I am quite positive that we can fill at least two small uh, turboprop airplanes a day with this setting. So that's what we're gonna do. As you might have noticed, we are starting on Gato, and um, the reason be, uh, beyond that is that as there is a huge amount of uh, young airlines there, it will be a big problem to get uh, your hands or our hands on some uh, good airplanes, which is basically what I found out yesterday when I looked at the options. For the main or main you know, in, in the brackets, uh, prop airplane that will fly to Beira, Nampula, Pemba, Quelman and Tete. I was considering the Antonov uh, AN-140, which is not a bad airplane. Uh, it has 52 seats, it has a decent range and flies in a decent speed. I use this um, airplane a lot in my other airline. And the good thing on this is that you can uh, use it in many different ways. Uh, it's very versatile and the best thing about it is really cheap. It's not as good as the other two I will show you that I consider uh, actually free. Uh, but it's much cheaper. And in the overall you can get two of these for the price of uh, the other ones I will show you which makes up for it. I was considering the Dash uh, 8. Uh, but you can see there are almost none. There's the Dash 400A, which is the biggest one of them. However, that one is too big in, mo in my opinion. And isn't performing all that well. And it's quite expensive. So I said no, not, uh, not that one. Not to mention that there weren't these four airplanes on the market yesterday. And they won't be there for long. <coughs> I can tell you. Uh, the one I, I come up with the, is the ATR uh, 42500. Uh, that's a fairly small airplane and you can use it together as one type of airplane to save up money with the ATR 72, which is basically a bigger version of the same plane. You see? It's just a stretched version, or maybe this one is, uh, you know, uh, shortened version. Anyway, ATRs uh, perform quite well when it comes to uh, runway length and they are quite favored by the pas uh, passengers. Uh, the 42500 is relatively easy to fill, so I took two of those. Uh, I wanted to grab the 72600 as well, but I said what the hell, we'll see how this works out. Uh, one thing for you guys that you might not be fa um, familiar with, the numbers. Um, the 42 is the type of airplane, 300 is the oldest version, uh, 320 is a slightly improved one, 500 is uh, a version that is uh, modernized, and 600 is the uh, latest version that's on the market. You can see that uh, the statistics change slightly, the 600 is slightly faster than the 500. However, there were no 600s available uh, at the time when I was uh, getting our airplanes. Uh, I also considered uh, SAP, which is one of my uh, favorite airplanes, but there are none available. I like SAPs because they perform well, they are quite fast, and uh, the passenger capacity is good for Africa, 37 is good. Uh, so it's 58, uh, but we'll see, we'll see. I'm, I'm not even sure if we'll fill uh, the ATRs. We can grab more of the ATRs, they're um, usually not all that uh, favored by people. I also grabbed one Jetstream 41. Now this is a smaller airplane, however its, uh, it's range is uh, good for us. Because you might not notice, but from here to here, which should be from um, from Maputo to Pemba, uh, it's quite far away. 
yeah, this is the statistics uh, and the performance rating for uh, the jet stream when it flies from uh, Maputo to uh, Pemba. So I wanted to grab a smaller airplane for uh, these one bar airports then we're gonna try them see what uh, we can get but in the end the only one I really considered was the LAT 410 which is a Czech airplane uh, it performs really well but the range 670 kilometers is really not enough uh, because from this place our hub to the north it's 1600 kilometers, so that's well beyond the maximum range of uh, the LED. Even though I really like the LEDs, uh, we cannot uh, do that. So this is what I come up with, and now we're gonna try it. Regarding the offices, I uh, checked, I'll show you the map, so that you guys know what I was thinking about. Uh, Mozambique is surrounded by a couple of countries, uh, South Africa is uh, one we will probably focus on later, however so far we have no choice uh, than to start with the domestic market to be safe. I'm saying this because Maputo has only very few connections, which is not all that surprising. Uh, there's a f daily flight to Angola by Gold Coast Airlines, which is a fairly, well, it's a medium airline that flies around Africa, and the lucky bastard got all the subs. Then there's uh, a flight from Ghana, uh, it will probably be to Accra, yeah, uh, Gold Coast Airlines, oh yeah, they fly uh, via uh, Luanda. So it's a flight from uh, Accra via Luanda to um, to Maputo. Then there's a daily flight from Kenya, from Nairobi. Uh, then there's a flight to Southern Africa. Yeah, you can see that Southern Africa is really easy country to start in. There's so much traffic going on. Uh, let me just show you, and it's also extremely boring, so anyone who starts there get bored eventually and they just decide to split, because they, there's, it's just insane. I can show you the traffic between Johannesburg and Cape Town, it's like insane. And you can fly to almost anywhere from there and make money. Yeah, see that? That's just domestic traffic. So, and these are big airplanes. Uh, seven three seven. Uh, this is um. Yeah, then what's this called? I forgot. Uh, Fokker hundred. Yeah, Fokker hundred. There are some Embraers. You know, this is just insane. They can they they were swimming cash with really. But back to our little country. Uh, we will start by only trying the domestic market. Eventually, if that works out, uh, I would like to start daily flights to Johannesburg, maybe even to Cape Town. Uh, but we'll see. We'll have to be really sneaky about that because we won't have any connecting traffic, so uh, we'll have to start a, a price war. But I wouldn't be really, ex uh, <laughs> really uh, surprised if they didn't even notice us. Uh, if I will have a spot in Shello now, I'm gonna try to uh, set up some flights to Harara as well. And later on we can try to fly to Antanarivo. Antananarivo, god damn it. Uh, but we'll see. So far we just have uh, the three airplanes I showed you. We have the two ATRs and one jet stream. Uh, the good thing is that they didn't cost almost any cash. We have a lot at hand uh, to, you know, work for some issues. We have brand new ATRs, uh, but we have a very old uh, jet stream, which is not really surprising as the jet streams were produced only up to 1998. Uh, I never used this airplane, so I'm quite interested in how it will perform. Uh, so I think that's all for now for the overall strategy. In the next part we'll uh, set up some routes and 
uh, set up some uh, well we'll equip our endpoints hire our first uh, employees and uh, get this stuff started yo